Okay, guys, we're going to have a look at a nice sequence here that we've been using here um, in the classes. So all we're going to start off with is we're going to connect three guard pass recovery movements straight to getting our grips of the ankles to sweep here from the open guard. So the first movement again, we're focusing on, all right, keeping super tight. Every time Nick gets outside of my knee or hip line, even if he goes close to the top of my head, I'm just going to use my top leg always to find his body when he passes. I find his body because there's no space between my hip and my armpit. It's very hard for him to attach me here. Even if he makes contact right, with my body on the outside here, uh, it's easy for me to pummel my leg inside and square up. Now the second movement, Nick's a little smarter. He opens that space up right, and he contacts my body here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post him in my arms first so that I can put my legs back in front because from here, I'm too weak all right, to square my body up just with my legs. Hip skate first. Pull my leg back in front, just like the first movement. And now I'm back to the guard. Again, he opens that space up. I'm trying to stay tight. He opens it up. One, two, three. And our third movement, we're going to focus on the Toriando, the bullfighter pass here, where he pins my hips down, he pins my knee, he gets to the outside. Rather than hip scaping, all right, we're going to block him first because if we hip scape, we open too much space and now he can pass easily. So from here, okay, I block him. I throw my leg over the head and I pull my knee to my stomach. Once my knee's to my stomach, my foot comes back on the inside of his bicep and I square up with his body. And that's my third movement. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these movements three or four times, maybe four or five up to you. So let's do four times. Nick's gonna do one of the movements. I have to pick the one that he's doing. Good. And now I'm going to connect with my sweep. The moment I land here, all I'm going to do, again, is focus on gripping the ankles. All right, his upper body is a little too far at this point. So I plane my shoulders, I find his legs, and I set up one of the sweeps that I have. All right, depending on what I can access, if I have both ankles, basic sweep, he steps that away, tripod sweep. The moment I sweep him, I'm going to control him both legs. I'm going to pummel both legs inside, come all the way up onto the top, and then we just go into our continuous drill. All right, now it's next turn. Again, I'm gonna pass a couple times. All right, so try to differentiate the movements a little bit. All right, nice. And now Nick's in front of me, it's his turn. To set up his sweep option, controls my legs, comes all the way on the top, and that's our sequence. Okay, guys, we're here again in the open guard. We're gonna have a look at another sequence. This time we're just gonna connect a few more difficult um, options here. Um, in the guard recovery. So he starts to pass my guard. The first movement we're gonna focus on again is when he gets good purchase off my upper body and for whatever reason I can't turn towards him, we're gonna turn away. So what I'm gonna do here is get to like a half turtle and now it's all about swinging this outside leg above my head. I need to bring my hips with my leg. So as I pull my leg over my head and I swing it over, my hips come back in front and I'm back into the open guard. The next movement, he's going to get to like a double under and he starts to cross my body. As he crosses my body, I punch that grip, I hip scape, and I'm back in the open guard for him to pass. Now the last movement, we're going to start to invert. So he's going to walk all the way past our body. We pull our knees tight, we hug on the outside of the leg, all right? And now we're just going to climb his body and we're going to roll. So we're inverting. We're on our shoulders. I can bring my second arm. I can bring my legs on the inside if I need to. And I just roll back in front of him. Now we're back in front, all right? We're going to start our sweep option. So we had a look at a few different sweep options. All right, we had a look at planing our shoulders, catching his body, lifting our hips into position. All right, we have our basic sweep, we have our tripod sweep, but now he's gonna to start to step away. So as he steps away, I swing my leg on the inside, hug. Once I'm here, single leg position. All right, we'll have a few different options. All right, a really basic one here is I'm gonna contact my elbow, all right, run the floor, catch his ankle, head on the inside, drive, drive, drive. Now we finish another really basic option here from the open guard. Okay guys, we're here again in the open guard. Now we're going to have a look at another sequence um, leading to another really great attacking option. And again, it's just dependent on how he reacts in the open guard once we get his legs. But the first thing we're always going to start off with is, with, is some guard recovery movements from here. So he starts to pass. All right, yeah. Depending on where, which option he uses, again, if he opens up this space, and I need to pull my, hip, my hips back in front before I can use my legs. That's what I have to do. A hip scape option is really good, all right? If again, he gets past my hips, another really good option is when he has weight on my body, he gets past my leg, it's to start to turn away. I turn away, but I bring my hips over my head, 
All right, so let's connect maybe three movements and then the, a really basic one is if it gets to the outside, but I always keep that space tight, all right, I'm able to close this square out. So we're just gonna do a drill maybe three or four times. All right, we'll do our movements. One, two, three, one last one. All right, four, and now we connect those options for the sweep. So the moment we land in this position, all we're gonna focus on again is attacking the ankle, we get to here, we try our sweeps, he gets his leg away. Now this time we're gonna have a look at when he pushes down into me. So it's pushing me, I can't stretch him out for the sweep. So what I'm gonna do instead is pummel my foot on the hip, on the inside and shoot my knee past his hip, uh, past his leg here. Once my knee's past his leg, I shoot my leg back on the inside and I connect my knees together. All I'm gonna do from here is reach to his outside leg. Once I have both legs, all I'm gonna do is turn my knees to the outside, holding his ankle here, both knees to the outside, he falls over. Again, technical stand, uphilling our bottom leg. Once we're ready, we can stand all the way up and control him on top.